In this video, I will demonstrate the installation and removal of an EasyLock brand thread repair insert. An EasyLock insert is a machined threaded bushing with threads on the inside and outside of the insert. The insert is provided with two notches on one end of the part that are sometimes used during installation as I will demonstrate later. There is pre-applied Loctite on the external threads of the part that adheres the insert to the housing upon installation. EasyLock inserts are installed using standard size threaded holes. Start by drilling out the old threads using the drill size recommended on the EasyLock insert kit and then cut the installation threads using the recommended tap size. After the hole is drilled and tapped, the housing is ready for installation of the insert. There are several ways to install an EasyLock insert. Smaller sizes of inserts can be installed using a screwdriver to drive the insert into the threaded hole. For high volume applications, EasyLock sells an installation tool. To use the tool, just slide the insert over the pilot and engage the drive keys of the tool into the notches of the insert. For most thread repair applications, a simple installation tool can be made using a bolt and a jam nut as shown here. Drive the EasyLock insert into the prepared threaded hole in the housing until the top of the insert is flush or slightly recessed below the surface of the housing. Once installed in the housing, the Loctite begins to set up immediately. The newly installed insert can be used within a few minutes and the Loctite becomes fully cured after 72 hours. The removal of an old, worn out insert is also easily accomplished. One way to remove an insert is to break down the Loctite by heating the wall of the insert to over 300 degrees Fahrenheit. It is not necessary to heat the whole housing to do this. By using an oxyacetylene torch, it is possible to direct the heat on the inner surface of the insert without much heat transfer to the surrounding housing. Then drive an easy out into the insert and unthread it from the housing. Thanks for watching. RepairEngineering.com